Hello all again, I'm going to show you how to in, uh, install fonts so that you can use them as a true type font. I've installed a few here, I showed you puppy bellies, uh, I've got a few more, I've got um, a peach sundress, loads of different ones that you can download and you can install them onto your computer so that you can type them out, this one's uh, a good one, so you can type them out, um, not importing the letter, importing them letter by letter, which is much easier if you want to use sentences and things like that. And you can get these cute little fonts which are all free. So you need to go onto your browser and load up uh, www.101fonts.com it's up here and then just pick whichever font you want. They have got hundreds on here literally. Some of them won't stitch out very well and some of them will stitch out better than others. You can filter them by different things, by handwriting, text, uh, cursive, thin, fat, etc. So you just need to go along and find one that you like the look of and I tend to go for ones that look like they're kind of stitched quite well, so something that's kind of not too thick, not too thin. Uh, I'm going to go with this one because it's got cute little hearts and see how that works. So you're going to go along here to download, and it's going to appear here in your downloads bar. So you need to open it when it's done. And this they're all going to download zip files, so you need WinRAR to unzip them. So you go to Extract 2, and I'm going to extract it to where it is in the downloads because it's easy then I know where they are. So you need to head over to your downloads fo folder, which will be documents, downloads. You need to look for the one which you just downloaded, which is words of love. And then hopefully, yeah, it's extracted over here, look. So you need to open that up and install. So it's going to install it as a true type font, so you could use it in Word, things like that. And then when you open your PE design, you have to close it and open it again. So that it registers you that you've installed a new font. It will be here under the first letter. You need to look for the name of it, which was Wordsness. So hopefully under W, Words of Love. There we go. And so you can just type straight away with it. Some of them you'll find they don't have all the letters, which is kind of irritating, but most of them work quite well. And there you go. That's how you install True Type fonts. I have got quite a few on here now. Some of them you have to pay for, so I tend to stick to the free ones. Some of them stitch out well, and some of them don't. It's just a bit of trial and error. Um, let me know how you get on, and if you find any really good ones, don't forget to share them. See you later.